The following video was shot back in July. It's about trying to resuscitate, recover, desperately use the front fender off of the 1975 Norton. It was pretty much um, impossible to make better. So I made it better. Uh, it looks like, it actually looks pretty good. Uh, we'll call it a 10-foot fender, which means it looks good from 10 feet away. And I'll put it on the bike in the next couple of days, and we'll see how it looks. It turned out it rather well, considering. So here's the videos. It's three videos put together, and it talks about the res resuscitation, shall we say, of the front fender on the 75 Norton. Here goes. Okay, the 75 Norton is down on two wheels. The uh, headlights open because I got the headlight sitting off to the side while I order a new LED headlight bulb. You remember the other day, uh, didn't have low beam. Well, didn't have low beam because the bulb was burned. So I ordered a um, LED headlight and I'll leave that a head, headlight bulb and I'll leave the headlight open until I get it so I can put it together. In the meantime, I thought I would um, go ahead and put the front fender on. So I went over and found the front fender, uh, stored up against the wall, and a sadder front fender I've never seen in my life. Uh, it is rusty. It has been painted, uh, I think, with a brush. Uh, This gray paint is just sort of peeling off of the rust. Uh, it's it's not salvageable, so I'm going to salvage it. I'm going to scrape away all this loose paint. I'm going to wire wheel it or wire brush it. I thought I'd replace these stove bolts that are holding it together, but they're so rusted I can't get them apart. So I'm just going to do it all in one piece, and I'm going to smooth out and take off all this uh, nasty paint and nasty paint over here and I'm going to paint the heck out of it with black paint and I'm just going to make a black black inside and out all the bits and pieces fender and stick it on the bike as a first let's get her done type situation you can see that the chrome is gone. That's that's all just terrible. Uh, it's just going to be sanded smooth real quick, painted black, and put on the bike, just so it can have a front fender. Afterwards, th the objective at this point in time is to get this bike to run. Uh, it's been in my shop a long time, done a lot to it. It's on the verge of running. I've got a brand new tank over there on the wall and brand new side covers right there. I'd really like to dress this thing out and start it. And in the meantime, while I wait for the new headlight bulb, oh yeah, and the new rear brake switch, it's a hydraulic switch down in here, and you can see it right there, that's not working. So I've ordered that. So in the meantime, I thought I'd put a front fender on it before I put it aside one more time and work on something else. So that's what I'm doing with this um, incredibly nasty front fender. Uh, I'm not going to do publish this, this um, video until after I paint this fender just so we can see if it's worth the effort, or if it was worth the effort. Well, step one is complete. I sanded and buffed and sanded and buffed and buffed and sanded and buffed. And then I took it outside and I gave it a really thick coat of primer. One coat, two coats, three coats. I don't know how many coats. I just kept going and over until I got nice thick and a smooth surface where all that pitting was. So I will let it sit overnight and uh, tomorrow I'll probably put another coat of primer on it, let it sit during the day, 
And then sometime during the day, I will start the uh, coats of black paint to turn it into a black front fender and uh, see how it goes. Actually, I think we're going to have a fender that's uh, not too ugly. So anyway, uh, that's where we are on the fender. In the meantime, I've got a little Triumph 500 over here that I need to get up on the lift. I think I'll take the Norton down and put this on the lift and do some work on it, getting it running and fixing the leak. I've got a uh, 74 Norton 850 sitting here that uh, needs to be got running because it's not running very well. This 70 Triumph is just stored here for a while. I uh, did this for a buddy uh, quite a while quite quite a while ago, and um, it's just being stored here. It's not here for work. So I've got uh, one, two, three bikes to work on in addition to the Norton I'm currently working on. And all of these uh, have to be finished by about August 15th when I go out and get into my new RV that I just bought. New to me, 2014. It's a 2014, 2014 Fleetwood Bounder. And it's in pretty good shape, but I've got a lot of things to do to it to get it ready for the trip. Back to North Carolina to visit with my brothers Greg, Scott, Kim, Guy, and a bunch of grandkids and nephews for a 10-day motorcycle ride. So I'll be towing a bike back there. So that's, uh, I've got all this stuff to get ready. Got to get the rig ready. Got to get all these bikes ready so I can get out of here on August 15th, at which time Kevin will be running the shop and doing his bikes in here. And I will be out doing the happy wandering thing. So that's where we are. All right, the uh, update from the uh, <coughs> Arizona British Bikes EPA approved paint closet, uh, water wall, the whole nine yards. Everything conforms to EPA specs. I uh, primered it and sanded it, primered it and sanded it, and put the first coat of black on it. And it's going to be a 10 foot paint job when I get done. Look good from 10 feet. But right now it's up here drying with the first coat of black. So I'll let it dry for a few hours and come back and uh, put another coat on and let it dry. And here's what the fender looks like after having been painted. Uh, all in all, not bad. Look kind of cool on the bike, all black. I'll put it on probably tomorrow. We'll see how it looks.